from here to the down so it's following the um it's following the motion you see and in the right side uh, hi everyone welcome back lastly we learned about this motion analysis module and today we are gonna start to a new module which is object tracking inside this module there are different classes and we are gonna get into the deep of each class in here for the future videos and we are gonna start with dance optical flow even inside this uh, there are inherited classes from the dance optical flow and we are gonna start with this optical flow and each class in here has advantages and disadvantages for example this one is uh, widely used for the applications and this is the simplest one but accuracy is less comparing to the others and this and this class uh, are accurate but slow the speed is slow comparing to the others so we are gonna get into the deeper uh, for each one for the future videos let's start with this one and each class also has common uh, member functions calculate is the common one the usage is very simple you are giving the previous frame the uh, t0 times 0 frame and later you are giving the another um, video in another frame which is the future frame so it's comparing these two frame and giving you a flow this is the usage the main usage of these classes so we are gonna uh, focus to this one also for this video also I want to talk all of these member functions because the usages are simple, not simple, important. So we are gonna talk for each of these member functions for the future videos also. Because the uh, the for for this one we are gonna use the default values, but I want to uh, explain what these parameters are meaning. So I I'm gonna talk about this one also. Okay. Uh, we can switch to the code part actually i have a video already downloaded for example there is a highway video so this is a tracking module so we are gonna track something so uh there are different there are many cars in this video so we can see how it looks like so we can uh check the results okay first of all we need to uh call the function via on this one and our uh, class name for this one this optical flow we are gonna start so we can type optical flow and is equal to we need to create um we need to create a new um this optical flow okay create and uh okay so this is done so we already created uh, this optical flow with default parameters so after that we can define some math for usage in the uh, loop uh, we, we are gonna get a frame we are gonna get a previous frame and lastly we are gonna get flow so these three parameters are gonna given to this calculate function after that uh, we can create a name window so we can see the uh, we can see the result clearly for example we can write output and it can be normal window okay so let's create a while loop since we are gonna deal with uh, tracking we need a video um, we can write infinite loop and let's uh, first of all also we need to create a video capture class of course and this is gonna get uh the video pad which is in here just copy the pad and paste here and all is done i think now we can start capturing the frame okay and just im show um output and frame and wait key one so let's run it and see how it looks like okay it's working perfectly then the next step is we can uh, call the calculate function of this optical flow dot calculate and for this of course we are gonna need previous frame but let's write for now previous frame and frame and the lastly we are gonna get flow so now all is done and um, if we, we need to write if but this should be inside if so previous frame is valid or we can check by this also if data is valid or we can write 
um, empty maybe okay this is enough if it's not empty it's gonna enter inside this frame and um, okay so we are gonna make the calculations while on the flow in here so but previous frame always should be equal to the frame after this one we can make clone so clone is good sometimes because is when the next time it's going here it's gonna change so sometimes it can be complicated uh, even you are thinking you are getting frame in here but it's back to the loop again so uh, in somehow sometimes it's uh, frame is changing in here so previous frame is affected so it's better to use for uh, hard copy is clone is good so previous frame is equal to frame in here so the, in the second loop the only first time is not gonna enter here but the second time it's gonna start to enter here and it's gonna calculate the flow okay and after that we need to make a for loop actually two for loop the first one is gonna calculate uh, the y values y axis is equal to zero y smaller than uh, the frame dot rows okay and y plus plus this is the y axis of the frame and the same loop we need for the x axis and x smaller than frame dot columns and x plus plus okay now we created our flow so we need to create a point coming from this flow so this flow is including points in here you see flow type so we need to uh, get those points inside for each pixel in this line okay so we can call point 2 f because it's flat and we can call the name flow at point it's gonna give us the vectors not directly giving the um, it's not gonna directly give the target vector uh, target uh, x and y axis it's gonna give us the distance uh, amount so we can understand after applying then we can call flow dot add and just we need to call in here also point 2f and in here the the complicated one we need to give y and x because um so in open series in somehow these are some complicated things y and x is always changing but in here the first one is gonna be the y because uh is working in that way so we need to be careful about that one so flow at point we already get so we can directly create a line so we can see the tracking line which uh, which way our cars is gonna be following um, by the way for each pixel we are calculating so this flow is giving us all the vectors changing in that in each pixel of the image so uh, there are many data we can say there are many vectors uh, for each pixel inside the image that's why in somehow for other classes for this class also it's making slowness okay anyway we can draw to the frame and after that we need to give the first point first point is gonna be our peg pixel so we can directly call x and y and after that the point two is the important one in here we need to be careful for example um, also we are dealing with the um, float types maybe we can run because we are gonna see at the end with the integer pixel value so it's important to run and the critical point in here is not directly giving as I said the target point at the second for example this is the starting point of the uh, motion but the second point this is giving as distance amount not directly giving the uh, second point of the motion so we need to put flow at point um, dot x and this is the um, this is the x axis and the for the same one we need to do for y axis okay so basically uh, we are getting the first and the second point so it's gonna draw a line and we are gonna see the uh, difference and after that um, scalar we can make maybe for now black and thickness let's say 3 or 2 and I think this is enough 
so line is done um, maybe we need to also see the so see the each point which is the target point so we can call the circle function um, why circle function okay so frame the point is the we can directly put the target point and okay and the radius let's say two or one this is gonna be only dot and the scalar can be maybe um, green and thickness is gonna be uh, again one so circle is also done so we are gonna see the output frame we are drawing to the output frame um, we can run the code and see the result hope it works okay it's crashing um, yeah sure so this function is give uh, taking single channel images I think okay this is taking single channel images so for 3d if you want to uh, comp uh, if you want to calculate for the three channels uh, then you need to uh, split the channels and calculate accordingly so because this function is getting um, it's getting the grayscale one si one single channel images so we need to call with the color and the frame is gonna change as frame and color bgr to gray which is bgr to gray okay where is that color bgr to gray this one okay so uh cvt color only cvt color that's why okay um hope it works now okay i think it's working but the question you are gonna ask why is black screen um because we are drawing for each line and we are drawing as black uh, i think that's why it's black for example this, if i make it here 255 i think it's gonna be okay something looks like wrong in here um okay um let me check in here x we are giving y so let's calculate for just each 15 image and image i'm saying pixel um okay this is gonna be like this let's see again okay so now it's working but still not really accurate um, because also it's um, moving so faster maybe we can increase this again to 50 and um, I want to keep a counter because I don't want to um, I don't want to uh, get for each two pixel couple uh, each two frame couple because it seems making little complicated in there so let's calculate so we can see the to see the simple uh, to see the result simple so I want to get the previous frame for each um, let's say 14 is equal to 0 and for the similar uh, entering here okay so it's gonna if entering here in the 14 it should enter in here 15 okay um, and let's see the result again okay so is I think better but still for visualization I didn't like the results uh, what else we can make maybe this is 30 this is 30 and um, yes maybe we can try with this option also or oh, this is 15 it's okay entering here at 10 let's try okay so still I get some wrong results but 
let's try again let's check again i'm giving point x point y there is nothing wrong in here and um, maybe we can give here 14 again and see one more again okay at least we can compare in here for example in here the line uh, start from up to the down uh, in here we can see more clearly uh, because the the movement in here seems more clear resolution you see the movement going to the down for example this pixel check is going from here to the down so it's following the um, it's following the motion you see and in the right side uh, let's take uh, another pixel this pixel let's take you see the motion going from down to the up so the the logic in here actually this one so you are getting the motion uh, vector you are getting the motion direction in here for for each circle each dot is representing the pixel and is calculating a vector and is giving you a line so direction is in this way so for the left side is in the opposite this one there are noises in here there are different things uh, which is wrong in here so it, of course we can get a better results but but as I said at the beginning all these are related with these default functions so we are using the default values for the next video I'm gonna get into deeper to the those member functions and we are gonna give our values for for example this scenario of course maybe default values are not working fine so we are gonna understand in there more clearly we are gonna get rid of these noises and yeah for this video actually uh, I just wanted to show how this looks like the vast the logic behind behind is just uh, deciding the direction is giving you that one so also how in the code part we can use this function just creating the object and we are going calculated function at the this flow usage I wanted to show for this video so see you in the next videos